This is a demonstration video of the Red Arrow record player. I'm just going to demonstrate it to you so you'll be familiar with it when you receive it. First thing to do is screw down the two transit screws on the deck located here and here. Screw those fully clockwise so the deck floats on its springs and remember to unclip the arm. To unclip it, simply pull it upwards out of the spring rest. If you want to lock it down again for transit, push it down until a click is heard, like so. On the front are the two main controls for on-off tone and volume. On the deck you have the red switch for stop start, manual or automatic. And the speed control here, your size detection is automatic by the trip lever at the back. You can load between one and six records, I'll demonstrate with two, just so you can see it play. Pop the records onto the spindle edge and put the stack arm across. And slide the red lever to auto to start the auto changer. Volume is at the bottom and tone at the top. Just flick the red switch to auto again if you want to skip to the next record. demonstrate with the start of a 12 inch record as well. the arm lifts off automatically at the end of the record. If you don't use the auto changer and you just want to play one record manually then you can just pop an individual record down the spindle onto the mat like so and select the manual position which starts the turntable and then just place the arm onto the record yourself. Once the arm is on the record lower the stacker arm down so it knows to switch off at the end of the record. If you leave it playing with the stacker bar remaining in the upright position that triggers the LP repeat function and the same larger record 12 inch will repeat automatically at the end. If you want to play the old 78s, simply turn the stylus over like so, so that the 78 print is uppermost and the needle flag points out from this side and turn back for all of the speeds. So hopefully that covers everything for you, but if you do have any questions when you receive it, I'll include my email address in with the machine and please use that method to contact me.